How do you practice to get to Carnegie Hall? Advice to students using the Liviano method for developing a musical ear. Part 6. How to practice the 32 ear training lessons with solfege. The following is a public service announcement for young artists, music teachers, parents, and visually impaired people. The mission of my work is to make it easy to learn music for millions of children around the world who lack access to quality music education training and manuals. This is my contribution to helping young people everywhere. If you are listening to this material, then you have already taken the first step towards joining the world's high-performance musicians. The most important thing every student can control are the amount and quality of practice he or she applies to a specific problem. There is a famous anecdote. A tourist on the streets of New York asks a passerby, how do I get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, 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 responds the New Yorker. I would rephrase the answer, prepare, practice, and after practice. These are the three stages of learning music. Knowing that you have to practice is only the beginning of the journey. How to practice is exactly what I will discuss with you today so you can really get to Carnegie Hall, Juilliard, or Broadway as an accomplished artist in any genre of music. With this in mind, I will share with you my thoughts on how and why anyone that has a strong desire and willingness to work hard and smart can develop a phenomenal musical ear and become a world-class musician. Part 6. How to practice the 32 ear training lessons with solfege. Any well-respected and accomplished artist, musician, dancer, singer, or actor needs an extraordinary well-developed musical ear. The only way to succeed is to prepare seriously and practice quality exercises that will bring to fruition this important and vital skill, whether you are a singer or play an instrument. The goal of this work is to bridge the educational gap between elite music academies and regular schools and accelerate the learning process for any young artist who is seriously interested in developing a professional musical ear and understand music. I am confident that preparation, passion, and quality music training will bring joy and success to young children around the world using my simple exercises. Now you can stream or download hundreds of educational music audio files on your smartphone, tablet, or computer from Google Play, iTunes, or Amazon. Anywhere, anytime. The first audio educational resource is Volume 1, 32 Lessons for Ear Training with Solfege in 15 major and 15 minor scales. This is a collection of 32 lessons, 7 parts each, with theoretical and practical exercises. There are 14 tracks in each lesson, a total of 448 tracks, 32 hours long. Each manual has 76 pages. The required expertise is moderate. The meaning of perfect pitch in this context refers to the dual ability of recognizing notes by their exact pitch and in relationship to each other. Musicians refer to these skills as absolute and relative pitch. The basic principle for developing a professional musical ear is listen, sing, repeat. This means that as you follow along the audio tracks and read the music manual, you should listen intently to the musical example, then repeat it yourself by singing it and keep repeating this process throughout the lesson. Practice one lesson for six days in a row, then rest one day and repeat the process for the next 31 lessons, 31 weeks. The seven singing parts in each lesson are about 30 minutes long. You can practice any audio track as many times as you need to. The ear training exercises are rooted in the Italian and French traditions of learning music with solfege. It means singing the seven notes with Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. This is the established music teaching method in European, Latin American, and Asian schools for the past 150 years. I am firmly convinced that it is the most successful and efficient method for developing a professional musical ear. You can also use the alphabet method with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, normally reserved for harmonic shorthand, though the results will be different. The Liviano method advocates only the use of the fixed DO approach, where each note has a unique and non-interchangeable name. You do not need to sing the names of the sharps and flats as the altered notes are intimated through intonation. 
Though all the lessons are available on YouTube for free, the advantage of downloading these lessons is twofold. First, you will have the full high definition audio quality that is not available on YouTube. And second, you will have access to the free printable manuals. You can download any of the 32 lessons for ear training by googling the title of the lesson plus my last name and the word audio. You will find the audio album with the 14 tracks on Google Play, iTunes or Amazon ready for streaming or download individually to your smart device. Here is a Google search example. Lesson 1 in the C major scale, Liviano Audio or Lesson 2 in the A minor scale, Liviano Audio and so on. Listening to this material and practicing seriously along with a music manual will help you develop a professional musical ear and learn music theory. These practical exercises are the true foundation for developing a professional musical ear, including the theoretical knowledge about scales, intervals, triads, seventh chords, and ninth chords, which are the precursors of learning harmony and counterpoint. Here is a brief look at the 32 lessons for ear training with solfege in 15 major and 15 minor scales. The seven part structure is identical in all 32 lessons. There are seven parts in each lesson, each part further subdivided in theory and practice. Part 1a, a brief theory of the major and minor scales. Part 1b, practice singing, tuning to La A 440 Hz and locating the new scale. Part 2a, a brief theory of the three modes of the major and minor scales. Part 2b, practice singing, warm up with a major or minor scale. Part 3a, a brief theory of the natural and harmonic modes and the importance of the perfect fifth interval. Part 3b, practice solmization or combinatorial singing with a major or minor scale. Part 4a, a brief theory of the interval. Part 4b, Practice singing the intervals in the major or minor scale. Part 5a, a brief theory of the triad. Part 5b, practice singing the triads in the major or minor scale. Part 6a, a brief theory of the seventh chord. Part 6b, practice singing the seventh chords in the major or minor scale. Part 7a, a brief theory of the ninth chord. And part 7b, practice singing the ninth chords in the major or minor scale. This material can be used successfully by musicians performing any genre of music from classical to rock, gospel, R&B, country, pop, jazz, etc. Please remember, every child has the right to a quality music education. When you purchase a music audio track or album, your tax deductible contribution will help teach a young musician somewhere in the world. Let's power up and learn music the right way. One more thing, keeping things simple and clear is an important element of the Liviano method for ear training and sight singing. Learning music starts with singing and dedicated practice makes perfect. Have fun and sing the music. If you have questions, ideas or comments, send me an email to david at liviano.com. Liviano is spelled L-I-V-I-A-N-U. I would love hearing from you. Thank you for listening. I wish you great results and good luck on your road to success. This is David Liviano. The 32 lessons in audio format, together with the free PDF manuals, can be streamed or downloaded from Google Play, Amazon, or iTunes by searching in the Google browser 32 Lessons for Ear Training and Sight Singing by David Liviano. A PDF transcript of this audio is available for download at Google Play Books. You can find it by googling the title Part 6 How to Practice the 32 Ear Training Lessons with Solfege.